which has been triggered by the resignation of Imran Ahmed. Uh, and leader of that party, uh, Richard Tice, is standing there uh, ready to join us. Uh, what an intriguing uh, afternoon. I don't want to ask you anything about Partygate. I want to ask you quite specifically, because we discussed this last time you and I had a natter, the Prime Minister saying, now is the time to focus on the real concerns and interest and prosperity of the British people. Uh, was he convincing? Was he persuasive on that point? I don't think at all, actually, to be honest. Uh, I don't think he was at all persuasive. He's had a very difficult session. Keir Starmer and Ian Blackford, I think, made uh, life very uncomfortable for him. There was a massive difference between what the majority of the Tory MPs are doing in supporting the Prime Minister and public opinion. I think sure. in a couple of weeks' time, the public have their first chance to express a view. And I think uh, that will be crystal clear and not in favour. And it's quite clear that there is no prosperity going on in the United Kingdom. We have a cost of living crisis, we have an energy crisis, and we have a government that is completely misreading how difficult life is for everybody. They've got the opportunity to cut taxes to create growth. They're not. They're raising taxes. They've got the opportunity to use our own treasure, our own shale gas. They're not doing that. And I think over the coming months, uh, the public will express uh, an increasing view that this government is completely out of touch.